All right, Logic Gleamer with another Sudoku. We've got Atari Space Invaders. I don't know if you guys are old enough to have enjoyed that game, but I did when I was a kid. So this could be quite interesting. And it's by Will Power. Cool name. Let's get into some rules. So we've got normal Sudoku rules apply. So it's every row, column, three by three box. Contains digits one through nine once each. Then we've got killer cages. So numbers in cages sum to the number in the top left corner. So these three digits have to equal eight. These have to equal 13, etc. Crop key pairs. Numbers with a white dot between them are consecutive. So this was one. This could be two. This was a four. This could be a three or a five. Numbers with the black dot between them are a ratio of two to one. So my previous example of four to five doesn't work here because you can never put a five on a black crop key dot. But these have to be in a two to one ratio. So if this was a two, this could be a one or a four. Three, six, four, eight, something like this. And then not all possible dots are given and alien ships have no effect on the puzzle. Okay, so those are the rules of Atari Space Invaders. Let's get into it and see if we can get this one solved. So the first thing I see, well, a couple of little things I see. This has to have a 9 in it because you can't get the 22 without using a 9. 876 is 21. Now this has to have a 1 on it because you can't make 8 in 3 digits without using a 1. It's 2, 3, 4 equals 9. Do we have anything else like that? I think it's going to be these combinations of crop dots, black and the white. So, we essentially have, yeah, we have every digit that can be on a black crop key dot. One, two, three, four, six, and eight. These have to be five, seven, and nine, because five, seven, and nine can never go on a black crop key dot. Why is that? Because one to two ratio of five is either ten or two and a half. Seven is fourteen or three and a half, and nine obviously four and a half and eighteen, which are not valid crop key dot or valid Sudoku digits. So if these have to be five, seven, or nine, this cannot be one, two, or three. Um, this one cannot be one, two, or three. So this has to be a four, eight. Means none of these are four, eight. So five, seven, nine, this can't be one, two, or three. So this has to be six. That has to be six. This has to be three. These have to be one, two. Six cannot touch a nine. This three has to be consecutive with a two and a one. So that's the one down here. And now that we know there's a two in this box and there's a one in this eight, there's only one other way to make eight in a three cell digit using a one but not using a two, and that would be one, three, four. Now, this can't be a nine, because we had the nine up here, remember? So this is the nine. This has to then be eight, four, five, and seven. Now, the 22, what is, what's left over for that? We can't use eight, so it has to be nine, seven, six, right? Yeah, nine, six is 15, seven is 22. So this is nine, seven, six. It means these are one, two, three, which means that's a four, that's a three. Um, these have to be six and seven. These have to be five and eight. These have to be 
five, eight, nine, one, two, four. Now that's not all that helpful filling all those in, but let's see what's next. So we're sticking with one, two, three, four, six, eight. And these again have to be five, seven, nine. Let's just run this all the way because it's the same for everything. So these are all five, seven, nine. This can't be one, two, three. This can't be one, two, three. Um, four, six, eight. That can't be one. That can't be eight. This can't be six. Four, six, eight. This has to be the same way. So it's one, six, and eight. Get removed. So what is that, <clears throat> excuse me, telling me down here? They have to be consecutive. But there has to be a three in here. Because you've got options of two, three, and four. Can't do two, four. So it has to be three to go with the two or the four. So there's no three here, no six. This can't ever be an eight, because you'd have to put one and zero in here. So one of these has to be a three, one of these has to be a six. Let's pop up here for a second. Oh, actually, let me look up here. This can't be four, this can't be five, this can't be four. So I've got a six, eight pair now. So that's not eight. So these can't be two. So this is a 3-4. I'm glad I looked back here before jumping up. So this is 1-2. These are 3-4. These are 6 and 8. And they could still be 5, 7, or 9. Right? Can this ever be a 9? Yeah, it could be. Maybe not 2. Uh, let's, now let's go up here. Not 1, 2, or 3. Not one, two, or three. This is not one or six or eight. This is not one, six or eight. Once again, we have to have a three here. So these are not three or six. Uh, what did I, oh, let me look here. Can't be four, so this can't be eight. Can't be nine. This can't be four. This can't be two. This can't be three. This can't be six. That can't be seven. So that's going to give me some things. So this has to be six. So this has to be three. Eh. It kind of helps. Oh, well, the six, I can go down here and get an eight. Maybe this will do it. That's got to be four, three, six, seven. Uh, these are not sevens, so this is nine, this is five. Five, that's not five. Just seeing if there's any Sudoku that I can do here. Doesn't really look like it. So what can we do next? There has to be a one over here, so it has to be a one, two. Not four, not eight. This has to be four. This has to be eight. Nine. Not nine. Okay. Not nine. Not eight. Okay. Let's try some of these killer cages. So now I've got a seven here. I've only got five left. And it can't be three, two. The only other option is one, four. So this is two and one. This is a three because it sees the two and the one. That's not three or one. So it's two, one. 
Do we have anything else like that? This 15 looks like it might be semi-interesting. So the lowest I can make is 11. It means this would have to be 4. Or I could do 12, which would be 3, which doesn't work. I was going to point to the screen, like you can see what I'm pointing to with my finger. This is a 3, so this can't be 5, 7. And then the other option is 7 and 6. Well, this can't be a 4, so I just ruled that out. So this has to be 7, 6, which makes this have to be a 2. So 7 and 6 is 13. This has to be 7. This has to be 6. Uh, where else? What's left down here now? <clears throat> Got 1, 3, 5, and 8. That's not 3. These are not 8. This is eight. Okay, not super helpful. Uh, is there anything Sudoku again I can kind of work with? Probably not quite yet. But we're gonna give it a look. See, I mean, one of these is a two. That's not really helpful. One of these is a two. We already know these is a two, so that's not helpful. Threes we know are over here. You know, one of these are threes. I don't think this is really going to give me anything. Might be a wasted effort here. Oh, this is four. I feel like I'm just marking things for the sake of marking them. Which doesn't necessarily solve puzzles. Six, maybe? No. Sevens? No. Well, this is a two-seven pair. That's something. So maybe marking these wasn't a terrible idea. Uh, there has to be a three over here, we said, right? So these have to be from one, five, and six. Yeah, it's not very helpful. It just tells me one of those is a six. Well, this is a two, seven. These have to be five and nine, which does get rid of a five here. And then these are left over as 1, 4, and 8, which is not useful. Okay. Let's just finish this real quick. See if anything comes out of it, even though I'm pretty sure nothing will. Yeah, that didn't do anything for me. Okay. So let's get back to something that will be helpful. Well, that's seven. Gives me a five. How long has that been staring at me? Mm. Doesn't really rule anything out. I mean, I know there has to be a five here and an eight. Okay, so this is a five-eight pair. This is a two-nine pair. So that can't be nine. These, there has to be a four in here, and then either six or seven. These have to be three, and either seven or nine. These have to be eight, and either six or nine. Oh, a 9 can never go on this 13. So it means one of these has to be the 9. Now can the 8 go on the 13? Because I can't use a 1, 2. So it would have to be 8, 3, 4, which is too much. So that's not 8. This is 8, 9, 3. 9 gives me the 7, the 6. And then 9, which is going to give me some more digits. This has to be 6, which is now 9, so that's 4, that's 7. I 
the other does. That has to be five because of the nine. This has to be nine. Okay, so these are, was it one, four, and eight we said? That's not four, that's not eight. There has to be a four here, so that is the four. These are one eights, which tells me these have to be two, five, and seven. That's not seven, that's not five. These are given one, three, six, not three, not six. And one, three, six does equal 10, so that's good. What is next? So, well, can I do anything with this 10? I can. This can never be 7, because I can't do 1, 2. So this, because I use a 7, the 2 is now gone. The least I can make is 1, 3, which is 4, which make 11. So this is 2, this is 7. That two gives me nine and two. And I need to make eight more. So it has to be five, three, which means that's five, that's three, that's one, that's six. That does equal 14. Good, four, one, eight, five. Now, we're almost getting there. Four, six, seven, not four, not six, not seven. I know I could do this quicker probably, but I'm just gonna write them out because I'm going there. Three, eight, and nine, not three, not eight, not nine. Now that can't be eight, so that's three. So that has to be four. Do 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 do. Seven, two, one, seven, six, nine, and eight. And it's going to give me the 9, 5, and 8. This has to be a 1, so that's a 3 and a 6. It's got to be the 2, and that can't be a 1, so that's 4 and 1. This is the 2, this is 7 and 5. This has to be 8 and 1. This has to be 5 and 8. And there we go. Yay, congrats. So, pretty good one. A uh, nice little throwback to childhood in that one. Did it in 17 and a half minutes, which is pretty quick solve. But it was enjoyable nonetheless. Uh, the, the interaction of these croppy dots along these rows was really, was really nice. We could work out exactly what needs to go where. So, that was Atari Space Invaders by Willpower. And excellent Sudoku. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.